In health news, fungal meningitis is a rare life-threatening fungal infection that causes swelling of the brain and spinal cord. A cluster of cases have been reported following medical procedures performed in Matamoros, Mexico. Our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health joins us to explain And Dr. Winter, tell us about fungal meningitis in general. What is it and how rare is that infection? Yeah, to sure, it's pretty rare. Only 10 cases thus far, but they all came from those clinics in Mexico you talked about. Let me bring in my half brain friend here to talk about where this happens. The meninges is a membrane that surrounds the brain, goes all the way down the spinal cord and protects the spinal cord and the brain. What we think happened was that with epidural anesthesia, often used prior to surgical procedures, you put a needle in and deaden the nerves and either that needle or the anesthetic must have been contaminated, causing fungus to get in there, leading to fungal meningitis, a very serious condition, Tashara. My goodness, how concerned should we be and is this infection contagious? Yeah, this particular infection is not contagious. Now there's viral meningitis, bacterial meningitis, those are contagious, but fungal meningitis from a needle, that's not contagious. Now, there are about 200 women, we're told, I think they were almost all women down there, were probably uh, uh, maybe infected or at least could have been infected. The, probably the scary thing though is that it could take up to four, five, maybe six weeks before the symptoms come out. So if you've been down there to Mexico for some kind of surgical procedure, keep in touch with your doctor. Yeah, a lot of people do go to that part of Mexico, Mexico to get those surgical procedures. Look, can you tell us what the symptoms are and how would someone know that they have fungal meningitis? Yeah, the cardinal symptoms are a headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, and a real sensitivity to light. Those can be mild at first and then progress to a severe headache, then confusion, sleepiness, and even death. So again, a very serious condition. If you have any of those symptoms at all, check in with your physician. So how is this condition diagnosed? I know you mentioned like it could take, you know, four to five weeks sometimes to even start to experience any symptoms. Uh, could someone, if they know that they've been down there, just go get checked out? And if so, how, how will it be diagnosed from there? Yeah, blood tests, x-rays, they don't work. You have to have a spinal tap. So a needle goes up into your spine to take out fluid and that fluid can be analyzed for infection. So not a simple thing to do. There is good medication. There's antifungal medication that works well. The results are a little bit slower than with bacterial infections. And the scary thing is you can have recurrences. So people with fungal meningitis need to be treated for longer periods of time and watch very carefully after that. I think the big message is be careful where you get surgical procedures. Mm -hmm. Make sure the reputation is good. Make sure that they've got a good cleanliness and take care of sterility. These infections you don't want to mess around with. They're nasty. Yeah, and that is a very serious situation. Uh, Dr. David Winter, always great to hear from you. Thank you so much. Thank you.